Alright guys, <clears throat> I figured I'd start making a video on my uh, my project here. We have a, uh, I'm attempting to build a 20 foot aluminum jet boat. It'll be an outboard jet. I have a uh, Yamaha Pro V200 that I rebuilt this last summer. Found on Craigslist for pretty cheap. And uh, I'll buy an outboard jet for it. Throw it on there. So here's what we have so far. Um, it's 3 16 bottom plate. Those are two by two eighth inch square stringers. And I'm in the process of uh, welding all the way down. Um, this middle channel here is for my fuel tank. It's about 12 feet long. If I can fit all 12 feet in there, I will. I'm not sure if the tunnel's gonna get in the way. Um, <clears throat> but uh, should be somewhere around 50 some gallons, 55 gallons or so. But um, yeah, so obviously uh, these are the floor supports. It's just the uh, eighth inch 5052. This whole bolt is 5052, except for uh, obviously the extrusions come in 60, 61 or 60, 63. Um, two inch flange bent over on them. Two inch flange bent over on the central channel. Um, yeah. So I've never done anything like this before. I have welded aluminum, not quite to this extent, but uh, I came across a Miller 350P on Craigslist, had one roll of wire through it um, for 2,500 bucks. I couldn't pass that up. Um, I'm using a Miller XR Edge um, water-cooled 30-foot gun. I don't have water going through it. Uh, I bought that on Craigslist for 400 bucks. I put a new liner in it. Um, one thing I can tell you that I bought uh, 4043 uh, 035 wire, thinking that since this is a push-pull gun, it'll push it just fine. That's not the case. Um, it did, but it was very sensitive to burn back and uh, bird's nest down at the machine. So I switched out to, uh, I think it's 045 or 046, I can't remember. But that stuff uh, pushes great, pulls great. Um, I've, I've never had a burn back on it yet that caused a rat's nest. I have had a burn back where it melts to the tip, but uh, you can just break it off with a wire cutter and pull the trigger and it's good to go. So um, like I said before, 20 feet long, um, got a 75 inch bottom. It was 76 to start, but once you put the nine degree dead rise in it, it comes up to 75. Um, I have my transom built over here. This is a 3 16 plate also with a, uh, I think it's two by three quarter inch thick top bar, bottom bar. Um, this, like I said, I'm no professional welder, but this, this Miller 350P it makes shit look like a TIG weld. But uh, one thing I learned is that uh, I was very careful with my heat placement. And I don't know if you can look down that, but it does have a slight bow. If I were to do that again, I would pre-bend this or put tension on it while I was welding it. Maybe clamp it down a half inch in the middle and weld it out. Um, this uh, inch and a half, or is that two? Two inch angle is gonna go in between these floor stringers here in just one location. Um, I was gonna lay it out 16 on center, but I talked to my buddy who's a carpenter. He said 24 on center would be fine with a uh, half inch floor. But I will add that uh, splitter in there, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, that should help stiffen up the, uh, the floor a little bit. So what I can tell you so far is uh, my buddy built a pontoon with some aluminum also, uh, inboard, outboard. Eighth inch is doable, um, but it warps a lot. and. Uh, I would recommend using 3 16 I can pour the heat to this thing. Um, I'm running 23 volts with 225 inches per minute on the welder. I'll go through my settings here because no one ever does that on YouTube and it pisses me off. But I got 23 volts, 225 inches per minute. I'm using an edge gun. Um, got uh, aluminum wire, the four series, 360 force is what I'm using. My run-in is 44% uh, uh, of my total 
inches per minute, I think is how you understand that. So for the first one second, two seconds, it's running at 44% of the 231 inches. Um, that's what I got. Um, I think I might be flooding too much gas, but when I hit the trigger, it goes to 40 cubic feet. I don't know how to read that cubic, 40 cubic feet, I think, per second. Um, another thing I would do is I'd never build another jig out of wood. I've never liked wood. I'm, to tell you the truth, I've built choppers, I've built go-karts, I've built you name it. And you would think with building so much stuff that I'd be okay with building with wood. I'm scared to death of building with wood. Nothing you pull off the rack is straight. Everything's got a bend or a warp or a crown. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. So if I was going to do this again, which I think I will, I'm going to uh, build an adjustable dead rise metal jig. Another thing you got to watch out for is obviously fit up um, when you're welding aluminum is key. Somehow, I was being very careful, but I don't know what the hell happened there. I wasn't paying attention and I got a huge gap. So what I'm going to do is lay a piece of one inch aluminum eighth inch flat bar there and fill up that gap. Lay it, lay it up on end so I can just weld to the flat bar there and weld the flat bar up there. That'll take care of that. But um, this thing is rock freaking solid. I also have a tendency of overbuilding stuff, but I guess that's better than underbuilding. We'll see. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm scared to death to cut the front bow. I laid a laser level across this uh, from the back of the boat along this weld seam right there. I, I threw a laser laser level all the way up front. So theoretically. When you draw a line up that tape, which I have a black line there, it should be what you want to do. Obviously, you cut that off, let that sheet down, pull the other sheet up, and do the same damn thing. But I'm scared to death to cut that. Uh, that's a lot of money if I make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. Um, I understand that you will make mistakes, but I'm trying real hard not to. Um, Another thing I like to do when I start a project is I set the welder up and I think I got it going good and I just go because I'm excited to get started and I started ironically with this seam here. I didn't like the way it welded. I didn't figure out how to sell, set uh, spray transfer is what I'm doing right now. Uh, I figured that out about halfway through the transom build how to get that spray transfer to work. Um, so I ground that out. And the best freaking tool in the world I discovered is to buy a four and a half inch, I think it's 18 teeth, five eighths arbor. Uh, it's a little saw for wood, but that pulls the aluminum out of there so fast, it's unbelievable. Obviously, this is a death trap with no guard, um, but I'm taking my chances going slow. And so far, I have everything there. And everything there. Another thing that uh, is key for doing this type of work is some motocross knee pads and shin pads. They work great other than I'm sure knee pads work good but a lot of times your shins end up resting across the brace that's very uncomfortable. Um, another thing I have that I've been saving for years is my Icon motorcycle glove. I lost one on a road trip but I kept the right hand one and that is the best damn welding glove I've ever had. Super reinforced uh, or multiple layers of level, uh, leather there. These knuckles slide right across the bottom so when you're trying to lay your bead down it's not jerky. Um, it's great. So I don't know if you have anything like that but goddamn, love it. What else? To, uh, yeah so I'm cutting everything with this evolution skill saw. Uh, it's pretty badass makes a lot of noise. Uh, you get hot, hot, hot aluminum chips on your lips, which uh, sucks. But I think you could wear a face mask and get away with that. Um, so I also bought this book. Great book. Uh, tells you all kinds of stuff that you'd never think of. Um, so here's some of the weld 
obviously there's spots I'm gonna have to grind out and start, but I'm getting better at uh, overlapping my my welds and and burning down those all those little tacks so they don't become an issue. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional welder. Never claimed to be. I think it's good enough for the for what we got going on here, but I'll get better as I go. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, just ask in the, uh, the area below. Um, if you uh, got something negative to say, keep it to yourself or find a good way to say it or ask it. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'll post another video when I get uh, further here. I think uh, once I get my transom on there today, it's a 12 degree angled back. Um, I should be able to hang my sides off that. My sides um, have a seven inch gunnel formed into them and then I'm running uh, one by three or one and a half by three edge uh, on the inside of the boat, kind of like similar to what Wooldridge does. Um, so yeah, don't quite exactly know what I'm doing yet, but I'll figure it out. And uh, questions, just let me know. See you, bye.